Biden is just so bad. He's the worst president in the history of our country. You should make a diss track on him. Yeah, we'll do some. Today, we bring you an exclusive interview with the 45th president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. In the compelling episode of the Impulsive Podcast, EP, 418, hosts Logan Paul, Mike Majlak, and George Janko sit down with former President Donald J. Trump for an in-depth conversation that spans a wide array of topics. This exclusive Donald Trump interview, often referred to as the Donald Trump Impulsive Podcast, or Donald Trump Logan Paul interview, talks about Trump's reflections on his presidency, highlighting key accomplishments such as economic growth, tax reforms, and the rapid development of COVID-19 vaccines. Trump also discusses significant challenges he faced, including media scrutiny and political opposition during his term. Looking back at your presidency, what would you say were your biggest accomplishments? We did a lot of great things. The economy was booming, unemployment was at a record low, and we made significant progress on trade deals that benefited American workers. The tax cuts were a big win, and we also made strides in criminal justice reform. There were many challenges. The media was very tough on us, and we faced a lot of opposition from the Democrats. The COVID-19 pandemic was a significant challenge, but we responded quickly with Operation Warp Speed, which led to the development of vaccines in record time. The conversation shifts to current events, where Trump shares his perspectives on the state of the nation, immigration policies, and the importance of strong leadership. He addresses the upcoming 2024 election, hinting at potential plans for another presidential run. Trump also touches upon his contentious relationship with the media, the impact of his social media ban, and his response through the creation of his own platform, Truth Social. What are your thoughts on the current state of the country? I think we have a lot of issues right now. The economy is struggling, inflation is out of control, and there's a lot of division in the country. We need strong leadership to get back on track. What do you think about the current immigration policies? We need to secure our borders and enforce our immigration laws. During my presidency, we made significant progress on building the wall and reducing illegal immigration. We need to continue those efforts to protect American jobs and safety. What does a typical day look like for you now that you're out of the office? I stay very busy. I'm involved in various business ventures, I play golf, and I spend time with my family. I'm also staying active in politics and supporting candidates who align with our vision for the country. There's a lot of speculation about whether you'll run for president again in 2024. What can you tell us about that? We're looking at it very seriously. We had a great run and a lot of people want us to come back. We'll see what happens, but right now we're focused on making sure we have strong candidates for the midterms and working to improve the country. Throughout the interview, Trump compares his approach to leadership with that of current President Joe Biden, expressing his views on the Biden administration's policies. The discussion also touches on international relations, including Trump's past interactions with world leaders like Vladimir Putin. Your relationship with the media has been quite contentious. How do you feel about the way you've been portrayed? The media has been very unfair to us. They've spread a lot of fake news and misinformation but we've also used social media to bypass the media and get our message directly to the people. That's been very effective. What do you think about your ban from Twitter? And are you planning to join any new platforms? The Twitter ban was a disgrace. It's censorship, plain and simple. We're looking at other platforms, and we've even launched our own Truth Social to ensure we can communicate without censorship. Mr. Trump, you're well known for your business acumen. Can you tell us about any new projects or ventures you're currently involved in? We have a lot of exciting projects. The Trump Organization is doing very well with developments in real estate, hospitality, and golf courses. We're always looking for new opportunities to expand and grow. How has your presidency impacted your business ventures? It's been a mix. On one hand, there's a lot of brand recognition and loyalty. On the other hand, we've faced some challenges due to political opposition. But overall, the Trump brand remains very strong and we're continuing to thrive. Mr. Trump, you've achieved a lot in your life. What drives you and what principles do you live by? 
I believe in working hard, staying focused, and never giving up. Success comes from determination and perseverance. I also believe in surrounding yourself with good people and always aiming for the best. How did your upbringing influence your career and success? I learned a lot from my father. He was a great businessman and a tough, fair person. He taught me the value of hard work and staying focused on your goals. Those lessons have been invaluable throughout my life. On a personal note, Trump provides insights into his daily life post-presidency. His continued involvement in business ventures through the Trump Organization and his principles of hard work and determination. The episode features a rapid fire round with fan submitted questions, offering a lighter, more spontaneous glimpse into Trump's preferences and personal philosophy. After the informative interview, Donald Trump was given some quick and short questions by the listeners. Favorite place to travel? Scotland, I love the golf courses there. Best advice you've ever received? Stay focused and never give up. Favorite movie? Citizen Kane. Any final thoughts you'd like to share with our listeners? It's been great talking with you all. I want to encourage everyone to stay positive, work hard, and keep striving for greatness. The future is bright if we stay focused and work together. This episode of Impulsive presents an engaging and multifaceted view of Donald Trump, blending serious discussions with personal anecdotes. It also compares and contrasts Trump with figures like Joe Biden, adding depth to the conversation about the upcoming 2024 election. For those interested in the dynamics between Trump and other influential personalities, such as Jake Paul and the Nelk Boys, this interview provides intriguing insights 